here's a Hammerland HQ-180A communications receiver from 1966. And for some weird reason, this doesn't have any maker's identification on it. Nowhere at all. I think normally right here it says Hammerland HQ-180A, and then up here is a place for a clock. So I don't know if this maybe could be military surplus or something where there was an application where the maker's name was not put on it or I'm not sure but the problem it's got is bad IF uh, bad capacitors in the IF cans and we'll turn up the volume here there's just noise and you can know that the, the audio stages are working and I put the scope on the oscillator, and the local oscillator is working. But I think the problem is, is the IF cans. And when we turn it over, we'll see how many of those cans it's got. I think some of them may be RF with no capacitors in them, but it looks like it's got a lot of IF cans. And I think this would have had a meter uh, in, in most models. It's got a little speaker that is only active when this is turned to CW. So I think that that heterodyne is coming from the the signal generator that I've got set to 455 kilohertz back here. So it is picking up some kind of a signal but I think due to bad IF cans it's just it's just not working like it should and if we can look over on the other side here we'll just see this is full of those cans just like the ones in uh, broadcast radios that tend to develop those bad mica caps in them I had to get a new 6 uh, BVA tube here which I think is the detector and one of the IF amps. I had I ordered it from ESRC vacuum tubes because it was missing when I bought it. For some reason it just wasn't there. This uses triple conversion on the highest shortwave bands and double conversion on the lower bands. And to test it I put in new electrolytics and I'm, I'm gonna eventually replace these two. These are a combination of paper and mylar I believe and I, they, I've never seen a catastrophic failure for one, so I figured I could just let it in for test purposes. And oftentimes these will still work, but for best performance I like to replace them because they, they definitely can go bad. And as far as I can tell, this is from 1966. And so what I'm going to start to do, I'm going to start, I think this is the first IF right back in here. So I've started labeling stuff to try and take this apart. This is going to be complex. This is probably one of the more complex, or the I would say the most complex job I've done like this where there's bad IF uh, capacitors. So that's what I'm going to start with this. I, I'd really hope that just some new electrolytics would get it going, but with those, with those cans, it just, it just didn't quite do it.